In this video, we bring you some of the best robbery movies with their touch of action and adrenaline. For this top list, we won't focus on the bank robbery movies since they will have their own top list. And if you are interested, we will leave a link in the description. Let's start. Number 10. Cutthroat City Four friends from a poor New Orleans neighborhood return home from Hurricane Katrina to find their houses destroyed. With no job or official help, they reluctantly turn to a local gangster who offers them a chance to turn their situation around. For this, they will have to carry out a dangerous robbery in the heart of the city. The job is going to go wrong and the friends are going to have to go on the run. But they are chased by two relentless detectives and a neighborhood mobster who think they took the money from the heist. Cutthroat City is an American film that mixes drama and action a bit. Its cast includes Ethan Hawke, T.I. Harris, and Wesley Snipes. Next up at number 9. Triple Frontier Five professional soldiers travel to South America to a sparsely populated region, the triple border between Brazil, Colombia, and Peru. For the first time in their careers, these unsung heroes are going on a mission to benefit themselves and not their country. But when everything takes an unexpected turn, their skills, loyalty, and morale are pushed to the breaking point in an epic battle for survival. An action film set in a mountainous and jungle area on the border starring Ben Affleck, Oscar Isaac, Charlie Hunnam and the Chilean Pedro Pascal. Moving on to number 8. Good Time A petty robbery goes wrong and ends up with Connie Nickerson's brother in jail. Willing to get his freedom, the man will decide to take a trip through the darkest corners of society and the underground world of the city, hoping to get enough money to bail him out. But during this one night where he's willing to do anything, Connie is going to risk making a hopeless mistake. Brothers Josh and Ben collaborate as film directors to bring you a dramatic thriller about human despair and what it leads to. At the same time, they dare to deal with the topic that not many talk about, physical and mental disabilities. If you like the top movie list, don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell to see more videos like this. Number 7. Snatch Frankie has just stolen a huge diamond that he must deliver to Avi, a New York mobster. On his way, he stops in London, where he is convinced by Boris to bet on a clandestine boxing match. What he does not know is that it is a trap set up by the fight promoter, Vinnie Jones, to snatch the magnificent gem. Avi is perfectly aware of her boy's problems with gambling, so as soon as he finds out about the trap, he will not hesitate to go to London and hire the services of Tony a legend of the revolver who will help him recover his coveted diamond. On the other hand, the Turk and Tommy are going to have a problem with their boxer, a completely crazy gypsy who refuses to let himself be beaten in the fourth round as they had previously agreed. And now they find themselves in the crosshairs of the Brick, a psychopathic gangster who has them threatened. One of the most beloved classics by lovers of the mafia genre, full of black humor and violence. Number 6. Triple Nine A gang of criminals and corrupt policemen find themselves in serious trouble. The Russian Mafia is blackmailing them and the only way to deal with them is to carry out a very dangerous robbery. That's when they hatch a complicated plan, assassinate a policeman to pull off the biggest robbery ever done in this town. For the robbery, they want to activate the alert 999. A police code with a triple nine means immediate help, officer down. The police officer they want to assassinate is a rookie named Chris Allen. His idea is to activate the triple nine at the other end of the city, thus moving the police force away from the place where the criminal gang will carry out the robbery. This band of criminals and corrupt police officers is led by Terrell Tompkins, the true mastermind of the plan, as well as Russell and Gabe, two brothers, the second of whom is a retired police officer who, together with Michael Atwoods, a corrupt police officer who patrols the streets with his partner Chris Allen, he will be the one who collaborates so that the young man is the victim of this code. Only Sergeant Jeffrey Allen, Chris's uncle, is the one who investigates the activities of the Russian Mafia and its dark relationship with the police department. Number 5. The Owners 
Set in rural England in the early 1990s, the film revolves around childhood friends Nathan and Terry who are spurred on by the town's sociopath Gaz to rob Huggins, the local elderly doctor and his wife. Nathan's girlfriend Mary is against this plan. But the boys are ready. The doctor's house is isolated. There is a safe which is full of money and no one is going to be in this house. It's their way out of this hell they were born into. But the Huggins return sooner than expected. The roles are reversed and a deadly game on Sue's, leaving the youngsters fighting to save themselves from a nightmare they could never have imagined. The owner slowly turns the circumstances of the robbery, starting with Huggins' striking and persistent refusal to give Gaz the security codes. It will soon be seen what is behind it, since a good part of the film consists of a constant mix of psychological games and violent situations that are somewhat reminiscent of some old English horror movies. Number 4. Den of Thieves a group of thieves that is made up of ex-military and ex-convicts plan a robbery in the Federal Reserve, a coup that seems practically impossible. But they are just not any thieves. It is an elite group that acts with pinpoint precision thanks to the skills learned by the military. The leader of the group is Ray and the members are Ensign, Bosco and Donnie Wilson. However, they must overcome the squad of serious crimes of the police of Los Angeles in charge of the detective Big O'Brien, a tough alcoholic cop with very loose morals regarding the treatment of criminals. O'Brien has a reputation for not always playing by the rules, so in this situation, who is good and who is bad? Walking a fine line between belonging to thieves and the police, Den of Thieves marks the directorial debut of screenwriter Christian Goodergast. Number 3. Bad Samaritan Sean and his friend Derek are two young men who work in the valet parking of a restaurant and have carried out scams by robbing customers' houses while they eat. Things are going relatively well until one of them breaks into the house of the wrong client, Kale, and discovers that he has a kidnapped woman in his house. Afraid of going to jail, Sean leaves the woman and returns the car to the restaurant, but remorsefully calls the police, who discover nothing unusual in the house. Now the young man must endure the wrath of the kidnapper who is after him while trying to find and rescue the captive woman he left behind. Number 2. Army of Thieves This is a prequel to Army of the Dead, the film by Zack Snyder that was released recently on Netflix. In fact, this new movie was filmed before the release of the sequel without knowing if it was going to work or not in terms of audience. That is, that the prequel and sequel were ready to be released almost at the same time. In this installment, he tells us the story of Ludwig Dieter, a character we already met in the sequel as an expert in opening safes who managed to unlock one in a Las Vegas casino while being attacked by zombies. But there the plot goes a little further back. We were located a time before the zombie attack spread, before the sequel arrives. The prequel comes to expand the story of this expert in safes. Dieter is just a bank employee frustrated by routine who has his own YouTube channel about safes and is recruited after a post in which he tells his story and shows his skill to open a safe. The blow begins to manage and the fun situations are mixed with the action ones. Schwei Gopher is the soul of this army that gives it ingenuity and that nerdy and super educated touch that is not expected in a group of thieves. Finally at number 1. The score. A movie classic featuring renowned figures such as Marlon Brando, Robert De Niro and Edward Norton. It was Marlon Brando's last film before he passed away. The score will follow the story of Nick Wells, who is an elderly thief whose speciality is opening safe deposit boxes and is about to retire to an easy life, running a jazz club and falling in love with his girlfriend Diane. But before he can retire, Nick is pressured into doing one last job by his mentor and business partner, Max, who masterminds the Montreal Customs robbery and has a man undercover, Jack Teller, a talented criminal who has managed to meddle with the facility's staff as a co-worker suffering from cerebral palsy. However, Jack is irritated by Nick's interference in his robbery and threatens violence when it appears that he is going to be left out of the action. Meanwhile, Nick grows increasingly uncomfortable with this operation as it violates his two most important rules of robbery, always work alone and never rob your own town. What other robbery movie do you recommend? We read you in our comments. Here we leave you more videos like this.